Where is Virginia Tech headed under Justin Fuente? Welcome to the Voice of College Football. Please like the video, share the videos out on social media. You enjoy the content, others will as well. So spread the word about the Voice of College Football, talking up the game we all love each and every day, live streams constantly throughout the week, team channels, 22 of them. And of course, uh, call-in shows as well. Let's look at Virginia Tech as we carve through the Power Five and leave our predictions here. You leave your predictions down below. The Hokies are sputtering under Justin Fuente. Okay, he started off nine and four, ten and four with the division championship. He started off the next season at three and zero. Oh. Since then, since early in the twenty nineteen season, twenty eighteen season, he is under five hundred. He is under 500 over the last 35 Virginia Tech football games. That is almost three seasons. Five and five this past season, marginal play across the board. The recruiting has been even worse and leads us to believe that the program is not headed in the right direction. This team needs to make amends to save Justin Fuente's job, you would think. It all begins with North Carolina at home in Blacksburg. So big challenge, but big opportunity for the Hokies to drive a stake in a quest for a Coastal Division championship. Middle Tennessee is another non-conference game. Then they go to West Virginia. So the non-conference games include Middle Tennessee and Richmond should be two wins, although the likes of Virginia Tech has dropped some of these games. Old Dominion being the most recent one by a couple touchdowns a few years ago. But uh, Virginia Tech should notch two non-conference wins fairly easily with Middle Tennessee and Richmond at home, sandwiched around West Virginia on the road. That basically a pick-up pick game, but I'm looking for the Mountaineers to win that one at home. Uh, again, the North Carolina struggle is going to be interesting to see. Notre Dame is the other non-conference game. All right. Elsewhere, basically, there's not a quote-unquote, difficult stretch. There's not a bracket of three or four games that's outstanding. Uh, it is the ACC, and it's the ACC Coastal Division. So what you've got is Clemson in the Atlantic. Then you've got the Miami-North Carolina tier. And until uh, something changes, something is displayed to, to lead us to believe otherwise, then you've got a glut of average football teams, and the Hokies are in that classification. So these are toss-up games. The Pitt game. The Georgia Tech game, the Boston College game, the Duke game even, to a certain extent. They should handle Duke. They should handle Syracuse. Those should be the two give-me conference wins for Virginia Tech. The other six are on the board, and they're going to be a decent underdog against uh, North Carolina and especially on the road against Miami, you would think, unless things change, and that is the second-to-last game of the season. The Hokies have to face four of the final five games on the road. Again, we've got two guaranteed wins outside the conference, basically in Richmond and Middle Tennessee, two basically what should be guaranteed wins against Duke and Syracuse in conference. It all adds up for me to 6-6, six and six, barely bowl eligible for Justin Fuente, and probably that middle ground for Virginia Tech fans in regards to we either want to see progress, significant progress, or we want to see Fuente out the door. And 6-6 six and six probably will accomplish neither. We shall see. That adds up to also 4-4 four and four in the ACC. Our thoughts on the Hokies. We want to get your thoughts as well. Right here at the Voice of College Football, our next record prediction coming up soon.